Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel and in today's episode we are going to continue with our terrain project for the ash wastes. Now and we're going to begin by building this half block. And it is playable on the inside as well, so the roof can come off for your miniatures to take over or stand in or place objectives inside. Now it is, I know it is a little different than the original which is okay, you don't really have to replicate anything to the T that you guys see. So just be creative and use whatever you have. So I made this with all the materials I had at hand. Now what I like about this is the loops. You can simply attach the walkway. You've seen how I've made this in a previous video. The only difference is just attach some hooks to it and you can slide them into the loops as you see. And then you simply attach it to the platform like so, you see, nice bendy walkway. So if you guys are interested to see how I made this or you want to make a couple yourself, I would say follow me to the crafting table and let's do this, come on. All right, my friends, let's build another piece for the ash waste. And I'm going to start with four 10 by 10 centimeter squares out of foam board. And we're going to begin with the roof on each corner mark one and a half centimeters so eight dots now we're going to draw a line that connects them and then we're going to cut these lines like so to create this octagon shape like this now i'm going to use this as a template on another piece this will be for our floor so the floor and the top of the roof will be the same. Now cut these corners as well. A few slow passes. Now one is the roof and the other is the floor. Just mark that down. Doesn't really matter, but just handy. Now from each side on every edge, mark out half a centimeter. And we're going to do the same for the, the four corners as well. Just mark out half a centimeter. Now connect the dots again. First we're going to do the straight ones. Simply draw a line. And when you've done that, do the same for the corners. Draw a line as well. Like this. Now we're gonna cut the half centimeter lines you just drew. We're gonna cut them all away to create a smaller octagon than the one we had before. We're gonna build up our roof in layers. See? Like this. Now use this new smaller octagon as a template on the third piece of 10 centimeter and repeat the process of drawing half a centimeter lines as you just did. And you'll end up with this. Now let's build the walls. These should be seven centimeters and the smaller part should be two and a half centimeters. The same as uh, our uh, top piece of the, of the roof, I mean the lower piece of the roof. Now I'm gonna cut away four pieces that are seven centimeters long and six centimeters high. And I'm gonna cut out four pieces that are two and a half centimeters wide and six centimeters high as well. I'm gonna need four of each. Now I'm going to make a template for uh, my arched door. Just uh, cut a piece of uh, cardstock and mark the halfway point. And then from there go two centimeters on one side. And then I'm gonna go up four and a half centimeters at the halfway point, like this. Just draw a line, a straight line, not like me, a crooked line, but a straight line, four and a half centimeters up. Now from the arch, I'm going to draw an arch from the top to the two centimeter part and I'm going to fold this in half like this. And I'm taking my scissors to cut that out and I get a, get a nice template for my arch door, which I will trace on the three of the four wall pieces. And then I'm going to cut out the arch doorways.
Here I kind of cut through it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> now take your floor piece and start by gluing on the wall pieces, small and big walls. Begin with a smaller one, uh, begin with a big one, then a smaller one. Just go around the entire floor piece with your uh, your wall sections. It doesn't matter how you do it. And you will end up with this hat block. Now do the same for the roof pieces. Just stack them on top of each other. Just make sure that the spacing is half a centimeter. Now a quick word. I made my roof a bit bigger by adding a, uh, one more piece. Simply turn your hut upside down on the piece of foam board and trace the edge and cut that out and glue it at the bottom piece of the roof. Now I'm going to cut the handle of this cheap tennis, tennis racket toy and I'm going to use a coffee filter for my base. This will be where my hut will be standing on. I'm going to hot glue this, the handle on the coffee lid. Also, I'm going to tie some rubber bands around the handle just to uh, create some extra texture. Don't know why I'm doing that, just I like the way it looks. Now I'm going to hot glue this at the center of my hat block. I'm gluing some pipes on the sides also to add the support beams but also to create some nice detail effects. I am basing this on the ash waste terrain, I'm not uh, replicating it perfectly. Here I'm uh, a bended pipe underneath as well. Now I'm marking some paper drinking straws to glue around the bottom of the hat block. And it leaves a little bit of an opening at the door and that is what I want. Just hot glue them into place. Now once you've done the four big pieces, do the same for the smaller pieces as well. And I'm gonna jam in and glue in a piece of floral wire as some sort of exposed cable. Like this. As I said, I'm not fully creating the same ter terrain. And I'm gonna create some loops where I will be hanging my walkway. Just twist some floral wire and I'm gonna bend it around the pipes at the doorway that we just created. Like this. You can reinforce it with some super glue if you want to, as you see me do here. Nice close up of my hand, sorry about that. Now I start to add all sorts of details, use whatever you have and whatever you want to use. There's no right or wrong way, just go nuts. Use whatever you have. And I also, as you can see, glued on a ladder and smaller ladders at each of the doorways. And I'm adding a wooden block and a coffee filter create a ventilation, another pipe on top of here. Go nuts! <laughs> now I made a simple walkway and I'm now gonna attach a few floral wires that I've bent into a hook underneath them. You, you've seen my previous videos so you know how I make my walkways. There's nothing different with this one. Just make a walkway and then use these uh, floral wires with the bended hook and glue them underneath. So you have two hooks on each side. These will uh, fit in nicely with the loops we've created to create those hanging walkways. Careful not to burn yourself. Now let that sit for a, for a moment. There we go, hanging walkway. Now for the platform, I'm rolling up a toilet roll which I cut eight centimeters in height. And I'm wrapping it with some masking tape around it. Again another one of those coffee lids and I've just attached it with some hot glue. And on top of the toilet roll I also glue a wooden block. Now I cut another octagon to the size uh, you want your platform to be. Then mark out one centimeter marks, just as we did before. But this time we're gonna mark out one centimeter marks from each corner. Because we're gonna cut out the center. Cut out the center. And I'm gonna glue this piece on a piece of plastic mesh. Just with some hot glue. 
will stick down immediately, no worries. Like so. And then I'm gonna cut away the the platform. And as I said, I'm also gonna glue a wooden block uh, on top of uh, the toilet roll to get some better adhesive. Or foam board or cardboard, whatever you wanna use. And I cut two six centimeter angled support beams and glue them to the sides of uh, the support beam that's holding up the platform. Like so. And here you can see the walkway hooked to the half block and the platform. You can see I've added the railing to it as well. The antenna is a, a broken piece of tripod and I added the ladder to the platform as well and kept on detailing the piece till I was happy with it. So I suggest you guys do the same. Use whatever you have. Be creative. Piece of plastic to create to form another antenna. Here I have added in some uh, drywall mesh tape to create a grated floor on the, in the inside. So yeah, looking cool. Time to spray this thing black, shall we? There we go, all sprayed black. Now a quick word, I tested a few things with the painting, then I came up with something I liked. So just follow along as I am about to do next. So I'm going to use a terracotta paint and stipple overbrush the entire piece, leaving the metal pieces black. Which I am covering again with some black. I'm also going to paint my pipes black as well. And the ladders, paint them black. The metal grates here, the antenna. Touch up all the black parts and paint all the pipes and cables, as I said, in black as well. Just make sure that you leave the terracotta to dry firmly before we proceed to the next step. Here I'm adding some more black uh, to another metal panel. Black pipes. It does look a little bit different, but I, I don't mind that, I like it. do the same for the platform I paint I've also glued a, a pipe underneath there as well now I'm going to use some masking fluid but you can use hairspray as well to do this um, do this wherever you want rust or weathering to be and cover it on the terracotta piece be liberal you can use hairspray too but I still had this masking fluid so I might as well use it I'm also wearing gloves because this thing this thing really sticks <laughs> going around the edges with the masking fluid on the pipes and on the beams being very liberal with it now once dried I uh, begin by stippling two coats of an off-white color all over the hab block and the support beams as well you will need two coats to cover this and it's good because the terracotta will shine through as well which I like going over it with the second coat now now I touch up the black again and the paint the railings and the ladders with the red paint you could use yellow or brown or whatever you want but I'm using the red matches with the desert a little bit so I kind of like it the railing here also gets a red paint treatment. Now I begin by scraping off the masking fluid with a hard bristle brush or a tooth, an old toothbrush. Do not use the one you brush your teeth with. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> and you will create this cool weathered and disgusting looking effect. As you see here. Here I'm using a hard stiff brush. Kind of creates the illusion of a the hab blocks being knocked all about by the enduring weather elements outside 
like so. So far I'm happy with this. But if you guys have other ways to paint it, feel free. This is just the way I did it. Don't have to replicate my, my techniques. Uh, feel free to paint them whichever way you guys prefer, of course. Now next I'm going to cover all the white parts in a sepia wash. It also creates a, a dusted look, which I like, because they are standing outside in the desert, in the ash waste, so they won't be a spick and span or nicely clean white. So I'm using, using the sepia wash to create that sandy dust effect. Going all over the white, also the support beams. doesn't matter if you hit the pipes with the sepia wash. Now I'm gonna cover the base in white glue and I'm gonna dunk it into a, into a mix of sand. Some coarse sand and fine sand is in this mix. Just dunk it inside there. Do the same for the other base as well. Like this. Now I'm gonna paint all the metal parts. I'm gonna overbrush all the black parts with a metal paint. Not the pipes though. But the antennas and everything, painting them all with metal. Like this. Cool. Now I'm start by scraping my pastels on it as well. Uh, just use orange, dark grey, brown pastels all over the terrain and lock it in place by spraying uh, with a bottle of water. Just a spray bottle of water. And it will lock the pastels nicely into place. Do the same on the walkway. And on the platform. Alright, let us have a look at our finished piece. So here we can see the weathering on the on the hat block and the ladder running down onto our board. The miniatures standing on the hanging walkway and the platform. So I've placed it on the ash waste board that we create that we have built before. So you can have a look on how it looks and I'm actually quite pleased with the result. So I would like to thank you all very much for watching and all your support. It really means a lot and I'm planning on uh, building more uh, terrain pieces for the ash waste including as well my own custom vehicles that I will build from scratch. So I hope you will uh, stay tuned for that as well. And yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next run, guys. All right, bye for now. Bye.